Welcome to another setup and review video. Today we're gonna to be looking at the Deco M5 Wi-Fi mesh system from TP-Link. These Wi-Fi mesh systems are designed to be plugged into your existing router or modem to give you a better Wi-Fi coverage. I'll go ahead and post up some more tech specs on the screen here, so feel free to pause this video whenever. But essentially in today's video, we're gonna be going through the setup process, how to set up the uh, application, the pods, and then of course take a look at the user interface within the application and just give you an overall review of what the Deco M5 system is like. So with that being said, let's go ahead and just jump right in. The first thing that we're gonna do is we're going to download the Deco app in order to configure each one of these pods. Now you can either do it by just navigating to the Google Play Store or the App Store, or you can go ahead and scan the QR code that's right here on the side of the box and have it pull up the URL. So we're gonna go ahead and scan the QR code real quick. And you can see it wants to pull up the URL, so we're gonna go ahead and go ahead and navigate to that web page. And it's gonna take, in my case, to the Google Play Store since I'm on an Android device. The directions today might be slightly different if you're on iPhone because we are demoing this on an Android, but it should be pretty much the same. Now from here, I'm just gonna go ahead and tap install and I'm gonna let it finish installing. Once it's finished installing, go ahead and tap open because we're gonna use the app to continue the rest of the steps. It's gonna walk us through a different steps. Now, as of right here, you can go ahead and click the uncheck the one that says, I agree to join the user experience improvement program. Uncheck that one, but you will need to read or at least accept the uh, privacy policy in terms of use. So in that case, we're gonna go ahead and tap agree. And if you haven't already done so, what you probably haven't is you will need to create a Deco account. And so you can either click on sign up right here, go through this process, or if you already have one, you can go ahead and sign in. So from right here, since I already have one, I'm gonna go ahead and sign into my account. Now, once you get signed in, you can see it says paint your home in Wi-Fi. You're gonna to want to be on a page that looks like this where it shows the deco pods and it has a orange yellow button that says, let's begin. From here, what you're gonna to want to do is grab any one of the three pods. It doesn't matter which one, because this one is going to uh, become the main pod that the others are going to talk to. So, like I said, you can grab any one of them. It doesn't matter which one. And we're just gonna set it to the side here. But the biggest thing is, is you're gonna to want to plug it in to a power cable, and then you're gonna go ahead and choose either one of these ethernet ports to plug into the back of your modem or router, whichever applies. So, doesn't matter which one, just go ahead and pick one and plug it in with the supplied ethernet cable that came with uh, this setup. Once you have the device plugged in, it should look something like this, where again, you've got your power cable and you've got your ethernet cable, and it's gonna have an orange light when you first turn it on, it may be solid, it may be blinking, but that's going through the boot up process, and we're gonna wait for this to turn blue. So what we're gonna do on the app at this point is we're gonna go ahead and tap on Let's Begin. From here, you're gonna want to identify your Deco. There are different models. This is the M5 1300, so you can see it's right here in the top left hand corner. If you don't see yours, you will want to scroll through and find your specific Deco device. So we're gonna tap the M5. What you'll need to find these in your Deco packaging, you'll only need one for Deco for now, more can be set up later. We're just gonna be configuring and setting up the one Deco first, and then we'll add the pods a little bit later. So the next step is, is to, it says power off your modem, remove power, or power off your modem and remove the backup battery if it has one disconnect your old router from the modem before moving on. Now here's the thing with how the Deco can work is even if you have a modem or a router, you can plug, like I said, the other end of this ethernet cable into one of the ethernet ports on the back of that modem or router. This will still provide solid internet and it's the easiest way to set it up. You don't have to worry about doing that. So for on this step, just go ahead and tap on, I don't have a modem. And then we're just gonna go ahead and tap on next. Now it says power on the deco, wait until the LED pulses blue. You can see right now that the LED is pulsing blue. It's fully booted up. And you're gonna tap where it says deco's LED is pulsing blue. And it's gonna start trying to talk to the deco. This does have Bluetooth built in. And so they're talking to each other via Bluetooth for the initial setup. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna Allow Deco to access the device's location only while using the app. We're gonna go ahead and tap on that. Said found it. Again, this is the second time I've gone through this setup and it's immediately found it each time. So you're gonna to wanna to choose where to place this initial Deco. It's got some pre-listed ones here or you can tap on custom. This specific one is going to go in the living room. So I'm gonna tap on living room and then it's gonna to proceed to the next step. Now from here it's saying detecting internet, internet connection type. 
I do have a dynamic IP that it detected. Most of the time, the auto detection should be just fine and you can go ahead and tap on next. If you're an advanced user, you're more than welcome to go through and uh, manually enter the MAC address. From here, it's gonna continue the process. Let's create your Wi-Fi network. So you're gonna want to choose a Wi-Fi network name and it's gonna combine the 2.4 and the five gigahertz network on this thing and make it a single SSID or a single Wi-Fi name for ease of use. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna call this one Deco M5 test and we'll make the password the same thing just to make it easier. So Deco M5 test. So we've got our network name in there. We've got our Deco or our password in here. And we're, so we're gonna go ahead and tap on next and it's gonna finish creating the Wi-Fi network. So from here, it says connect your Deco Wi-Fi, connect your phone tablet to the Deco's Wi-Fi to continue the setup. So we're gonna go ahead and tap on next and it's automatically going to connect the device that you're using for setup to the Deco network in order to continue setup, which is a really nice, convenient way to do it. You don't have to go into your Wi-Fi settings and manually connect to it. Everything does it within the app. It just popped up, connection successful, found it. And again, we're just gonna continue the process. Testing the internet connection. Network is now up, your Deco is ready to use. Please connect all devices to the Deco network for better connections. Since this is a three pod pack, I'm gonna go ahead and tap on add another Deco. If you just got the single Deco, you're gonna go ahead and tap on I am done for now. Same process, you're gonna identify. You're gonna to want to put the Deco in the area that you're gonna to want to have that Deco in. So you're gonna to wanna to have them nice and spaced out pretty evenly. But for today's demo, I'm just gonna go ahead and set it up right here in the same area. So I'm gonna go ahead and again, plug in the just the power. You only need ethernet cable on the primary pod or the main pod at the first. The other ones will just need power because they're gonna to talk to the main pod via wireless. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug that in. We're gonna wait for that to boot up. Another cool thing is on the other pods, if you wanted to hook up a wired device to it, you're more than welcome to. So it will, it'll basically, this will send the Wi-Fi signal over to this one, and then this one can convert it into a wired connection. So if you have a computer in the basement, you can wire the computer to one of the ethernet ports on the bottom or on the back side and connect it to the Deco via wire. If you do have a different one, all of the Deco systems can, uh, they are all compatible with each other. So if you have a different Deco, you can still use this to connect to each other. So I'm gonna tap on M5 and you can see right here where it says find a suitable spot, select the layout that looks like your home will talk, tell you where the place your Deco is. You can change the floor here and it will kind of give you an idea of where your deco should be. Of course, this is just a general thing. Tap on next, same scenario. Wait for the LED to start flashing blue and tap on deco's LED is pulsing blue. Now you can see we've got the main one. It's trying to talk to the secondary one. Depending on how far it is, it may take a little bit of time in order to find the secondary or the third deco. This case is going to be in the office. So I'm gonna tap on office and it's gonna go ahead and optimize the network. So you can see how simple it was to connect these two and get them talking and the third is no different. Once you get the third in there, once again, it creates a nice mesh system of Wi-Fi. So in this case, since I have one more, I would click another, add another deco. I don't have the power cable up here with me for it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and tap on, I am done for now. Once it's finished, it's then going to bring us to the main uh, page on the app. So you can see we've got internet. There looks like there's some firmware updates available that we'll need to do. You have things like antivirus where you can toggle malicious content filters, intrusion prevention, and you can tap on the little eyes next to these and get just a summary of what that feature actually means. So really cool that they have all that. You can tap enable now. It is powered by Trend Micro. And so we'll go ahead and tap on back. You can also see your devices that are connected to the network. And if you get a, if you connect a new device, you'll get a notification for it. You can do things, if, if we go down here to the little hand, it says smart actions, you can actually create shortcuts. And what these shortcuts are is you can add an action, you can set it up to where you can integrate lights to them, switches, network devices. So if you wanna be able to toggle things on and off or make them a high priority, you can do that as well with just creating a shortcut to kind of do multiple actions all with one step. If we go back a little bit, you can create automation to it. So if we tap on the automation tab, you can have it turn on and off lights at specific times of the day. If you're familiar with smart home hub stuff, very similar process, you can now do that within the Deco systems as well. 
If we click on the, the nine little boxes right here in the little grid down at the bottom right, you can see we've got Wi-Fi settings where we can, again, have the 2.4 or 5 gigahertz. You can toggle them on or off. You can change the network name or the SSID, the password. You can enable a guest network if you like to have a guest network. I don't prefer that, so I toggle that off. So if we go back one, you can test your internet speed from right here. You can blacklist certain devices. So if you have somebody that is trying to do malicious things, you could just blacklist them. So no matter what, if they try to connect, it won't. So you don't you have to worry about that. Updating the Deco. Like I said, it had firmware updates that we needed to do. And so right here, this is where you're going to do that firmware update available for Deco. Shows you what the firmware version is, what's new, the notes about it. You can download and update the firmware via this section here. Going back, if we go to advanced, right here, you can enable or disable IPv4 or IPv6. You can check your LAN IP settings. You can set up your IP TV VLANs, your MAC clones. You can uh, reserve certain IP addresses. This is kind of more for advanced users. You got port forwarding in here. You can do fast roaming, beam forming, LED control. This is one thing that I thought was really cool with this app is they have LEDs on them, right? And they have blue in them. They've got green in them but sometimes these LEDs at nighttime are bright. And so what you can do is you can turn on night mode, set up a date time frame, and these lights will turn off within that window, which I thought was pretty cool. So if we go back, we got operation mode, router and access point mode. You can kind of look through that. Connection alerts and notifications. This you'll go through, shows you what's been connected, notifications, you can toggle update firmwares, antivirus alerts, parental controls, monthly reports. So you can have different notifications be sent to you, you know, regarding everything that's within the Deco system. Moving on to WPS. WPS, of course, is just a quick way to connect things to. You can tap on it. If you have somebody downstairs, you can have them tap on their WT WPS button. You can tap on it and you'll get two minutes in order for them to quickly connect to your device. And you can see that the LED starts to flash blue. And so if we go down to under home care, you've got parental controls right here. You can filter content, limit time spent online and check internet history. And so you can go in and click on the plus. It's gonna ask you to create a profile because you're allowed to create a profile for each person in the home that uses the internet and you can actually attach different devices to it and more or less shut things off on a mass scale or limit uh, certain websites and things like that kind of all at once. So you just go through, if we want to just do, we'll just say Aaron here, we'll click done or next. You can choose whether it's a child, preteen, teen, adult. And if you click on each one of these, you'll see the content that it's trying to block. So you can see that for preteen, everything is needing, so you can add these just like this. If we go to teen, you can see that Adult content and gambling are already blocked and then you can add the additional stuff on top of that. And then of course for adult, nothing is blocked at all. Once you've got your selected settings, you can tap on next. You can set your time limit and your bedtime for weekdays, weekends. You can toggle both of those on, set your daily time limits. Again, daily time limit in hours, whether it's a weekend or a weekday, you can have them individually controlled. If you hit next, same thing with bedtime, you can have school nights and weekends set up, hit next. And then of course you can add the device to that profile. So pretty cool little parental controls right there. Antivirus, we kind of covered this briefly earlier where you've got all of this, you can enable them if you want. Uh, QoS stands for quality of service. If you know there are uh, lots of people that stream things or game things, you can set certain priorities to kind of take uh, priority over the internet. So if you have you know, somebody just doing regular browsing and somebody doing gaming. If you have the gaming QoS set up, anybody that's gaming is going to get priority over somebody that's just browsing the internet. So managers is of course, I'm the manager of this one. If I wanted to add my wife as a friend or family to help manage the Deco system, I can add her account in here. She can sign into it on her app and be able to access uh, the controls and stuff as well. So as you can see directly from just getting the first initial one set up to the app download and looking in the app, everything is very user friendly. It's quick, it's easy, and it doesn't take a ton of time to set up and it will give you a solid internet connection. Now that everything is all set up, just for example, here are a few speed tests that I did within my office that show you a quick difference of the speeds that I had before and after the Deco was installed. 
So what are my final thoughts with the Deco M5? And simply put, the whole experience from the start to the finish was phenomenal. Right out of the box, everything worked as intended. I was expecting to have things like the app crashing or not being able to find uh, the other pods, but TP-Link makes solid stuff, but I was still expecting to have some issues. That wasn't the case, and honestly, with hardware like this, is if you have a crappy app and it doesn't work very well, it's kind of the Achilles heel of the hardware. It kind of makes for a rough experience. But the app for the Deco is a perfect example of how an app should perform. It was well organized, easy to use, it was snappy, and it just did exactly what it was supposed to do. Now, as far as range is concerned, again, this is a 5,500 square foot kit. My house is nowhere near that size. So I expected to have good coverage, and I did. But if you do find yourself having some issues, you may wanna look at moving your pods around to see if you can get better coverage or you can expand this unit up to nine different deco modules so you can buy the decos individually and connect it to kind of expand your range. Now, the one last thing that I wanted to touch base on is if you change the system from the default router mode that it sits in over to access point mode, you will lose things like the quality of service, the parental controls, and the smart home integration to toggle on and off internet uh, devices. So just keep that in mind. It's not the end of the world. Probably the majority of you guys are just gonna use the default router mode anyway. And it's just a small thing that I thought was worth noting in case you're one of those that do want to put it in access point mode. That is going to wrap it up for this week's tech review. Thank you guys all so much for watching. I will post the links down in the video description for those that want to take a look. It truly is an awesome, mesh system, and if you're looking one, I would highly encourage you guys to look at the Deco M5. In any case, again, links are down below. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you liked it, you got some value out of it. If you did, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. And of course, head on over to shop.helpcloud.com. We dropped some new Help Cloud merch over the holiday season, and uh, we will see you on the next one. Peace.